Let's transition and let's go to Detroit. Let's talk about those Detroit Lions. As the Detroit Lions, they secured their first playoff win since 1991. As the Detroit Lions beat the LA Rams 24 to 23 for the Rams. Matthew Stafford, in this matchup, he went 25 of 36. He threw for 367 passing yards, two touchdowns. Puka Nakua, he had nine receptions, 181 receiving yards, one touchdown. For the Lions, Jared Goff, he went 22 of 27. He threw for 277 passing yards, one touchdown. St. Brown for the Lions. Seven receptions, 110 receiving yards. So, my biggest takeaway from the Lions' 24-23 to win over the Rams was the Detroit Lions' ability to capitalize in the red zone and the L.A. Rams' inability to capitalize in the red zone was the biggest difference in the game. You look at trips to the red zone between the Rams and the Lions. So the Rams and the Lions both had three trips to the red zone in the game. The Lions scored three touchdowns on their three trips to the red zone. The Rams didn't score one touchdown in their three trips to the red zone. They were 0 for 3 in the red zone and scoring touchdowns. And they had three field goals instead of touchdowns. So, obviously, 21 is three touchdowns. And if you kick three field goals, that's nine points. And so, to me, that was the biggest difference in the game. The game was honestly a very well-played football game. I like the teams both had great production offensively. The Rams had 22 first downs. Lions had 23 first downs. Both teams went three of nine on third down. Both teams both converted on their fourth down plays. And they were honestly, statistically, they were evenly matched. I just thought the biggest difference in this game was the Lions' ability to score touchdowns in the red zone, and the Rams had to settle for field goals, and that's the reason why the Rams lost this game. And they still had a chance to win the game because they still scored on other touchdown passes from Matthew Stafford. And I thought Stafford played well in this game. I thought he played very, very well in his old – Stopping grounds, per se, 25 of 36, 367 yards, pass rating 120. I thought he played well in this matchup, and I thought Jared Goff also played well. And, I, and that was the thing I was looking forward to going into this matchup was how Matthew Stafford and Jared Goff, how are they going to perform? Because I think going into this matchup, I think I, I got to find the stat. Oh, here it is. So – this is since the 2021 trade between the Rams and the Lions. Both Stafford and Goff have 24 wins apiece. Stafford has thrown 75 passing touchdowns. Goff has thrown 78 passing touchdowns. Both Stafford and Goff have 41 turnovers apiece. And Stafford's passer rating is 95.8. Golf's passer rating is 96.5. And so the only difference is, obviously, Stafford won a Super Bowl with the Rams. That's the only difference. And I do think that's a, a big difference because I, I, I don't feel like they're even. I think Stafford is slightly better than Golf is. Slightly. I think Golf has had a nice career, but I would take Stafford over Golf slightly. When I look at Matthew Stafford, I look at Matthew Stafford on the same level as a Matt Ryan, a, a Russell Wilson, a Phillip Rivers. I feel like Matthew Stafford 
considering the numbers that he's putting up and how great he played in Detroit, despite Megatron being his only true weapon to throw the football to, I feel like Stafford had a better career than Goff has had. But I don't feel like Stafford is significantly better than Goff is. And so I was looking forward to that matchup, and I thought they both played well in this playoff game. And I thought on that last possession for the Rams, I, I, I thought that, as crazy as it sounds, I thought Sean McVay made a mistake because he had one timeout left, and I believe it, the, 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 it was like the game, it was like a little bit over four minutes left to go in the game, maybe even three minutes. And he punted the football back to the Lions. And in that situation, I feel like you kind of got to go for it. You only got one touchdown. I'm sorry, only one timeout left. And, and you got the two-minute warning still. So I know what Sean McVay was thinking. He was trying to put the trust in his defense to get a stop. But I, I would have rolled the dice and allowed Matthew Stafford to try and convert on fourth down and, and try to get in field goal range and even possibly attempt a long field goal. But I thought it was a well-played game. Shout out to Detroit because they haven't won a playoff game since 1991. Think about that. Since 1991. I, I, you could feel the energy in the stadium. You, and you saw fans crying after the game. It looked like how Paul Brown Stadium looked when the Bengals won their first playoff game in 30-plus years when Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase beat the Las Vegas Raiders a few years ago. It looked just like that. It looked similar to that. So I was happy for the city of Detroit. And I, I thought Dan Campbell putting the football in Jared Goff's hands on that, on that, I believe it was third down, on that, on the biggest play of the game, he put the football in Jared Goff's hands and Goff delivered. He delivered in a major way. And I thought Goff played well, especially when the Rams – blitzed the Lions. And you look at the numbers. With no pressure, I'm sorry, with, with no pressure, Jared Goff, this is with no pressure, he went 21 of 21, 266 passing yards, one touchdown, and his pass rating was 134. And when the Rams pressured Goff, one of six passing, his average yards per pass attempt, 1.8, Pass rating 39.6. So I thought the Rams should have blitzed Jared Goff more and made him have to deliver in clutch moments when he when he knows the blitz is coming. Because clearly, when there's no pressure, Jared Goff can carve you up. And he did just that. So he did tremendous, tremendous with no pressure. But I thought the Rams made a mistake not pressuring Jared Goff more in the fourth quarter in the critical moments of this football game. But this was a well-played game between two teams who played great and obviously there's, they have a lot of ties with each other. Jared Goff used to play with the L.A. Rams. They went to a Super Bowl. They lost to Tom Brady and the New England Patriots. But they had a lot of success. And Matthew Stafford obviously had a lot of ties to Detroit. When Stafford won his Super Bowl with the Rams, it was a lot of fans that were in Detroit who supported Matthew Stafford, and they wanted him to win that Super Bowl against the Bengals. So this was a great matchup, and this is Jared Goff's first playoff win as a starting quarterback since 2018 with the Rams in the NFC Championship game. Remember the Rams beat the Saints in the NFC Championship game? This is Goff's first playoff win as a starting quarterback since then. But – I'm looking at the Rams, and I'm just thinking, moving forward, Sean McVay has a nice squad to build around moving forward with the Rams. He really, really do, because offensively, you still got Cooper Cup, okay? You still got Puka Nakua, and Puka Nakua has emerged as a star in this league. Yeah, I, I feel like he's played so well this year. He's played at such a high level, and there were times in the clutch – where Stafford, he trusted Nakua even over Cup. It, it, I saw it, and I'm like, man, they got something special moving forward. And it's, it's going to be interesting to see 
how much longer Stafford wants to play. But um, I thought this year, Sean McVay getting this Rams team to the playoffs, I thought they, they, they really overachieved because this was supposed to be a rebuilding year for the L.A. Rams, and I didn't have, have high expectations for the Rams. I, didn't, I did not have high expectations for the Rams coming into this season, and boy, did they prove me wrong. They proved me wrong, and they, they played great, especially in the second half of the season. But uh, they're going home. They're going home, but they will be back. But the Detroit Lions, they are moving on to the division round of the playoffs, and it's going to be going crazy this weekend in Detroit when they host the Tampa Bay Buccaneers Sunday afternoon. It's going to be going crazy because the Lions got an opportunity to get to the NFC Championship, and they might play the Packers, and that will be a, a, a favorable matchup for the Lions. They'll be favored in that game if they have to play the Packers in the NFC Championship game. But I like the the job that Dan Campbell has done. He he gambles a lot in games, and sometimes I scratch my head while I'm watching these games, and I think to myself, what the hell was Dan Campbell thinking right now? But those gambles pay off, and it paid off in the clutch moment when the Lions needed a play to be made and had to win the game. They gave the ball to number 16, and he delivered, and the Detroit Lions delivered their first playoff win in 32 years, ending a nine-game postseason skid. It's their first playoff win since 1991. Mind you, I'm 33. And so, uh, shout out to the Jared Goff. Shout out to the Detroit Lions winning their first playoff game since 1991.